All right, here with one of the new Joshes on the NDSU men's basketball coaching staff, Josh Jones, coming over from Western Illinois uh, after spending a few years on Billy Wright staff there and uh, adjusting to a new, new Summit League program. What's that been like coming from Macomb up to Fargo and trying to get acclimated to everything? Well, it's been awesome. I uh, moved my family here. I had my first son. Um, he was a month old when we moved here, and it's been great. The community's been great. Coach and the environment here has been just just absolute perfect. So it's good to get the season going and having some fun there. So it's been amazing. And being acclimated at least to the league, understanding what the league is like with the summer league, you've been here enough times in the past. You probably knew what you were getting into a little bit, didn't you? hundred um, percent. Familiar with a lot of the teams, a lot of the coaches. Um, even had an opportunity last year to play against UMKC. So with them being new, I actually seen those guys as well. So it was pretty good. Made the transition pretty easy. Just having a good feel for everything. So. How difficult was it during this year to go through this with your family? As you said, you had a son that yeah. was just born. Yeah. Uh, take me through kind of getting everybody up here and getting set. Yeah, it was a lot. Um, again, wife was, was was pregnant during the start of the pandemic. Um, she had to stop working. Of course, I stopped working. And in May 9th, my son was here, moved up uh, to Fargo. Uh, I think it was like May 29th, May 30th or something like that. Um, got here, got the family situated and off running, like summer workouts. And again, Dave, Coach Richmond, he welcomed us with open arms. So it was it was pretty easy. It was a tough time, like as far as personal, but pretty easy as far as work. What attracted you to this place? What was it about Fargo? They thought, ah, this might be a good fit for me. Uh, the people, the people. Coach Richmond. I mean, he's a he's a wonderful man. Um, good to work for. Down to earth. Great morals and values that lined up identically with who I am as a person. So it made the fit pretty easy. So what is your role? I know it, you know when you come into a different place, you got to kind of f see where you fit with the mm -hmm. group and what your responsibilities are going to be. What are some of those things? Yeah, well, just basic stuff, recruiting, um, game planning, scouting. Um, I pride myself on having really good relationships with the players, and I think that's where Coach Richmond's seen a lot of me is where I can kind of relate to the players, get on the court with them, do some player development stuff, watch film, and, and, and again, off the court as well. So just connecting with those guys, building those relationships, that's the stuff that really matters. So. And you're not that far removed from when you're playing days. That wasn't that yeah. long ago at Eastern Kentucky, the good old days, where you were pouring it in a thousand point scorer there. Yeah. Uh, do you ever talk to the guys about the glory days or bring some of those experiences to these today's college athletes? Uh, not much. I try not too much. I mess with uh, DC a little bit. I tell them because I play point guard at Eastern Kentucky, but I'm not a natural point guard by any means. But I, I tell them all the time, I, had, I just got magic. Like when I pass the ball, people just make shots. I don't know if it's the person shooting is more of me, but <laughs> I joke with him a little bit. But other than that, I try not to bring it up. So off the court, take me through kind of what Josh does when you can get away from basketball. I know it's a big part of your yeah. life. Yeah, well, we're just chilling. Again, my son is uh, he's seven months now, and he's, he's running around, so playing with him, spending time with the wife. We like to go out to eat. Um, when it's allowed, um, Netflix, big Cobra Kai guy right now. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, I'll play a little PlayStation every now and then. I'll get on the Call of Duty. So, again, I'm not too far from the guy's age, so we got some similar interests. So. <laughs> Call of Duty, pretty yeah. good? Uh, I'm getting there. I'm pretty good. I'm getting there. You're getting there. <laughs> Cobra Kai is your show, though, huh? Finished it. Finished it. You're all, through it already. Finished it, all three. What's, not, your, what's your next one now? Oh, that is a good question. I don't know. I have to ask my wife. She kind of she lets me know what's going on. <laughs> gotcha. she'll, she'll pop it on, and I'll kind of watch an episode or two, see if I like it. If it sticks, it sticks. If not, we'll we'll go to the next one. So yeah. it's up to her. Well, we pleasure to have you here, Josh. Uh, yeah. Thanks for taking the time. And uh, hey, awesome. we're we're halfway through this season, and all halfway through winter too. Yeah, I know. We didn't even get big snow yet. So <laughs> I told everybody I brought the sun with me. <laughs> you did. We'll keep it. We'll keep you here for good if that's the awesome. way it's going to be. Awesome. Awesome. Thanks, Josh. Thank you.